Yes. So our next method is what? Zolkowski crystal pulling technique or a method. Why we are using this one? To prepare a single crystal of silicon or germanium. Because only our single crystal structures or materials only are used in the preparation of a semiconductor or used as a semiconductor. Understood? So now first in the preparation of semiconductors what we have did first we have did the distillation and second is zone refining whatever the material i got in the distillation i have sent it to for the further purification by zone refining yes now whatever the material i have got in zone refining is a polycrystalline it is a purified metal only but how i got it is a polycrystalline but to behave as a semiconductor or to use as a semiconductor how i need a material it should be a single crystal so whatever the metal or the whatever the material that is purified by zone refining again i have sent it to the next process that is zolkowski crystal pulling technique or method by by this method i am going to prepare a single crystal of silicon or germanium so for zone refining and the crystal pulling both things are same we are going to write the silicon or germanium in the same understood okay if they mention in your question any silicon or germanium only like you mention it properly like silicon or germanium otherwise write it as same as okay so first for this method i am taking a what a graphite suspector what i am taking a graphite suspector outside okay now inside of this graphite what i have a acidic glass like material that is crucible that is like like it is made by fused silica fused silica okay now here can you see the brown or like brown color thing right so here i will take the whatever the material i have got in zone refining i'll be melt it and put here okay whatever if you are using for a silicon uh, if you are going to prepare for a silicon take the silicon material or for germanium take the germanium material. so whatever the material i have got or whatever the i have what i will do the melt i will melt it and pour in this uh, crucible or a, a container or reaction vessel understood yes now this melt whatever the material i have melted and put here is covered by see it is covered by boron trioxide cap what so can you see this cap here this one these two yes so those two are nothing but cap that those are used for the closing of this material or the metal which we have kept in the crucible understanding yes so why we are using this boron trioxide cap because of this trioxide cap or boron trioxide cap the atmosphere is not entering inside it okay the oxygen cannot enter in, inside why we should not allow the oxygen because the silicon or germanium easily can react with the oxygen and again it gets impurified okay so to prevent the uh, uh, passage of oxygen i am going to cover the whatever the material or the metal i am taking by a boron trioxide cap understood yes ma'am okay now the above it on the surface okay on the on the above it or the surface i am going to put a vessel or a some like tube like structure what a vessel or tube like structure on it i am going to put now my seed crystal can you see the green one yes a green color box so that is nothing but but your seed crystal and we have we have already studied what is a seed crystal i am how i am going to get it understood yes so here i have took a seed crystal and again i am going to pass the inert gas to create a inert atmosphere same thing because the atmosphere gases should not enter inside okay so again i am going to uh, put it in a inert atmosphere so that i am going to pass which gas argon as a gas and the pressure of how much 
one at more than one atmospheric pressure understood the construction one more thing. can you see this ball like things side the green one yes so these are nothing but rf coils that are radio frequency coils what radio frequency coils so these rf coils are used to give the high temperature okay to produce the temperature these are put both the sides of crucible we have to a crucible or the container right like this so on the both the sides what i am going to put now rf coils so it will give the temperature like 1400 degrees in that range it is going to give the temperature or it is going to give the heat for the a uh, crucible or the equipment understood how uh, like uh, till how much what till how much uh, uh, temperature till crucible can bear 1600 the rf coils are giving the 1400 degrees of temperature understood these rf coils are used for the giving of heat or the temperature and we have uh, two uh, rotators to rotate our the vessel or the seed crystal when process is going on we are going to rotate stop talking we are going to rotate in a clockwise direction when seed is growing or the crystal or metal is growing understood till here yes ma see everything we have discussed right first we have took a graphite suspector and inside it i have put a fused silica crucible and next i have mentioned a liquid metal of silicon or germanium and next above it i have covered with what a cap that is boron trioxide and i have given also the atmosphere of inner atmosphere by passing the argon gas and in the middle on the surface of the liquid metal on the surface of the liquid metal i have put a vessel with the, which containing the seed crystal from where did we get this seed crystal from the metal which i have got from the zone refining process okay and i'm also having a rotator chunks which are used to rotate in a clockwise direction slowly slowly i'll be rotating those vessel and seed crystal during the process understood yes so whenever i am going to when process starts what happens we are going to produce the heat right for the crucible so the seed crystal which is placed here on the top stop talking so whatever the seed crystal i have placed here it will be moving from downwards and again it will be moving from up understood it is moving from up and down up and down so when the seed crystal reaches here imagine the white box is a 